Here's the Horn Blasters S65485 um, Nightmare Edition train horn kit. Has the six horns with it. Um, I upgraded to the dual compressor kit. And then I upgraded to the five gallon tank and I had all of that installed on the Goliath uh, spare tire delete mount. The spare tire delete comes primed so you'll need to paint it or have it painted. Um, this is quite involved and I'm not a great wiring person so I actually had this installed at a uh, local shop. So I'm going to pause this and get out from under my truck. Along with the train horn kit, I had the electric purge valve. You can see the button there. I had them install it just in the bed. I won't use it that often. I figure back here is good enough. Let's see if I can. So for the once a month or so that I'll need to purge that, I got that. It makes it nice and I'll have to get back down on the ground there. They're going to hook the train horn up to my steering wheel horn, but I told them I didn't want that because, you know, you double lock your doors and it honks or if your alarm goes off, I guess some people like that, but I'd rather just have a regular steering wheel horn and then I just had them install a momentary toggle there. Um, but another fun addition was the digital um, air pressure gauge that I had them install. So I don't have to get up under the truck and you know make sure if it's full or not. We were looking all around the truck trying to find a good place to mount it. We were looking at some sort of a pillar pod system or hanging it here, there, and yonder. But at the end of the day, what we ended up doing, hidden right there in the glove box, the upper glove box. So uh, fit nicely. Uh, it's out of the way. You know, I always, don't always need to be looking at it, but if I do, it's right there. I just open it up. Even from the driver's side, I can still view it just fine. So. I guess the moment y'all been waiting for, and my my neighbors are gonna love this, but here we go. So, yeah, that's nice and loud. There you go.